Hello everybody, John Shuttleworth here. Now, this week I'm not going to be talking about myself uh, and my family because as Mary, my wife, pointed out last week, it is a bit boring. Mm. Um, so what we're going to do this week is I'm going to be giving you hints and tips mm. um, and advice, you know, that can help you in your daily lives. That's right. We'll begin, if we may, with how to maintain household plants which will be conducted by my wife, Mary. She's by my side as I speak. I've got to buy the arm, actually, uh, in case she runs away. Oh, flipping egg. <laughs> Don't worry, love, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. We present The Shuttleworths. Episode 3. We're next to rather an elegant little plant here, Mary. What's this one called? This is a busy lizzie. I see. And what do we do to maintain it? Well, you water it. How often? Every couple of days, uh, if you want to. Hmm. Mm. I notice uh, one of the leaves uh, is discoloured, Mary. Mm. What's happened here? Well, it's far enough. It's dead. Uh, yes, right. OK. Now... If we move over here, Mary, mm. um, this one's quite big, isn't it? Mm. What's yeah. this called? Right, well, this is a, a cheese plant. I see, but it's not made of cheese, is it? You know, he can't eat it. No, I'm afraid he can't. So, why is it called a cheese plant? I've no idea. No idea, love. Oh, Mary, I think you hey, shouldn't... John, uh, love. John. I don't want to... I can uh, hear a pan boiling over, love. I don't want to criticise you, love. John. But uh, I think you should appear... A bit more knowledgeable. Well, I'd love to, but I don't know anything about it, do I? Well, you know, um... I'm sorry. I'm going to have to leave you, love. <sighs> Ta-ra, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Mary. Off you go. Oh, well. I was hoping to talk about the spider plant in the bay window, but it's not to be. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Hey, there's a bit of soil on the floor. Uh, better hoover that up before Mary sees it. Hey, oh, just thought. Uh, that could be an item. Yeah, how to hoover uh, a carpet with a bit of soil on it. Because, you know, it's a, an isolated part of the room. Uh, you don't need to unwind the whole flex. So, start it off with your foot. No need to bend down. And off you go. Of course, there was a time in the 70s when we did not own a vacuum cleaner due to financial restraints. And one day, Mary said to me, she said, John, uh, I want a vacuum cleaner. I said, we can't afford it, love. It's a luxury item. And she left me. Um, and I went into the street looking for her. I did. I said, hey, have you seen my wife? I said, hey, hey, have you seen her? She left me after a row, it was over a vacuum cleaner I said, what's wrong with the broom? And she said, something obscene Oh Mary, please come back and I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner But she didn't come back And uh, she went to her sisters in Aston on the line Didn't know where she was Had two young children to feed, it was a terrible time and I asked uh, the butchers, the bakers, not the candlestick makers, obviously, because uh, they don't have those anymore, do they? But uh, I even put out a request on local radio. Hey, have you seen my wife? I said, hey, hey, have you seen her? She left me after a row, it was over a vacuum cleaner. I said, what's wrong with the broom? And she said, something obscene. Oh, Mary, please come back and I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner. Well, I'm delighted to report that she did return and I bought her this lovely second hand cylinder model. She's still going well, you know. Though, ooh, a bit of a, a, bit of a smell, actually. A bit of smoke coming up. Yeah, but I'll leave it for a while. <sighs> Hello, Ken. Hello. What do you want? Yes, I've uh, brought back Karen's tambourine that she can't invent me. Right, good. Well, you'd uh, like to come in? 
Yes. Yes, I will for a moment. Right. Uh, oh, sorry, Ken. No. <clears throat> so I thought you were going to pass it over to me. Then. No, well. Yeah, I was going to hang on to it for a moment. No, you can have it now if you want. Well, I'll, I'll put it down on the table. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Well, is Karen in? No. Mm. No, she's not, Ken. She's no. uh, with a friend, Maxine. They're dressed as clowns mm. and they're clearing uh, the banks of a canal. No. You know, the towpath, it's overgrown. Yes. And um, I was going to be uh, uh, Mr. Pickwick mm. distributing bin liners to the volunteers. Oh. It's a fun event. You yes. Know. yes. But uh, no, <clears throat> you know, mm. I had a look at the, um, the location. Yes. Very overgrown mm. and uh, lots of brambles, oh. uneven terrain. Wow. Of course, uh, I'd have been hiring my costume. Mm. My tights would have been silk, mm. you know. Yes. Uh, so I decided not to do it in the end. Mm. I feel a bit bad about that. No, I don't think you should, though. Mm. Don't. Ken, would you like to take your jacket off mm. and uh, perhaps sit down for a couple of minutes? Yeah. I'll tell you for why. Mm. Because we're doing hints and tips this week, and I'd like to advise the listeners mm. on uh, divorce. Oh. You know, how to cope with divorce. Mm. Because you did, didn't you, Ken? Um, no, no, I didn't, actually. I didn't cope at all. Oh. Um, Oh, Ken. No, leave it, Ken. Sorry. Um, no, uh, I tried to take my life. No, mm. you didn't. Oh. Oh. Mm. It's like Lovejoy's that, isn't it? Is it? He's got a leather jacket on. Oh. Go on. But uh, I made the mistake of testing the temperature of the water in the canal. Yeah. Because you know. uh, if I can just explain, Ken, uh, mm. you were living in a caravan. Uh, Dronfield Woodhouse Way. Yes. Uh, you'd <coughs> come last in new faces, as we know. Mm. Rhiannon was the harpist who accompanied you, mm. um, your wife. She left you mm. after new faces. She did. That's and, right, uh, yes. took up with the builder, didn't she, called Martin. Yes. Is that right? Yes. And then... Uh, Look, John, can I tell the story, please? <sighs> yes. All right. Thank you. Sorry. Um, no, uh, I tested the temperature of the water. Mm. It was too cold, you know. Good. It was too cold for me. We're well, so, glad. You know. uh, what I did was uh, I made myself a really nourishing meal. Mm. So I just had um, a few things left in the larder. Yeah. And uh, put them all in a big pan. Made myself a nice meal. And I um, <laughs> had an early night. Mm. Got up early in the morning. Yeah. I went for an interview mm. for a, a job at Eagle Star. And I got it, you know. Mm. I think they thought I was quite a personality. Because yeah. I had an afro. Oh, yeah. I had a, a Cat Stevens perm. <laughs> And a <laughs> Slim Jim tie and um, yeah. loon pants, you know. So, Ken, mm. can you hear what uh, you're saying? What? You, you're saying that you did cope uh, with your divorce, you know. Oh. It's a success story, isn't it? Huh. Yes. yes. So oh. thank you uh, for sharing that with us. Mm. Yes. All right. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Um, have you told the ladies and gentlemen how to cope with bereavement yet, John? Ken, what do you mean? Because your first wife, Margaret, died in 1970, didn't she? Shh. Didn't she? Thought she did. Ken. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's all right. I, 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 oh. I thought Mary was in the um, kitchen. Mm. She's not. No. Um, huh. Oh, she'll have some washing up. Mm. Hey, Ken, I've had a brilliant idea. What? Come here. Mm. Uh, bring the tape recorder oh, with you. Right. Oh, bang me nose, then. Careful. It's heavy, isn't it? Don't drop it, Ken. Ow. That's it. Just put it there next to the uh, tea cosy. Mm -mm. Right. We're in the kitchen, and uh, I'm going to show you now how to wash up. Oh, silly. Well, is that's, it? Is it, Ken? That's silly, no, listen, because uh, no. how often have you... Mm. I'm talking to the ladies and gentlemen now, Ken. Mm. But don't go away. No, no. no. Uh, how often have you had... Uh, friends or relations round for tea mm. and uh, they've offered to do the washing up oh. and you've let them. Yes. But you've been disappointed with the results. That's right, yes. And you've had to reject um, an egg smeared plate mm. or uh, <coughs> a coffee coat and knife. No, you don't get oh. uh, coffee on no, a knife. Um, um, mustard. Mm, yeah, maybe. Mm. Or a uh, Tune, no, not tuna, right? No. It comes off easy. Oh, yes, it does. Whatever, anyway. But, uh, Ravioli. You know, you've had to... Uh, fingers. <sighs> no, still. Ketten. Mm. Please. Right, yeah, well, it don't matter. No. The point is, you know, um, you're not satisfied. And, no, um, I'm not. Because there's obviously a method. Oh, John! Sorry, just... Oh. 
It's about a rat on my lens. All right. Oof. All right, Kendall, don't overreact. It's only a bit of spittle. Mm. So anyway, let's run the tap. Mm. Uh, might take a while to get hot. Mm. Um, if you'd like to put those rubber gloves on, okay? Yes. They'll protect your hands um, from the hot water. Also, any harmful enzymes that may be present uh, in the, the detergent, mm. which, uh, if you'd like to dispense that, can then, yes, to the water. Well. Not too much. Mm. That's too much, Ken. Oh, it isn't. It isn't. Far too much. No, it isn't. Right, the water. Ooh, ow! The water's oh. uh, nice and hot now. Mm. If you'd like to agitate the water, Ken. Yes. That's it. Mm. See, we're fortunate in uh, mm. being in a soft water region. Um, there's the reservoir that serves these houses. Um, it's situated in the White Peak. Uh, mm. You know, you might be in a hard water region, in which case you might need mm. a little bit more. Mm. Ken, what are you doing? Just, um, these bubbles are just really are soft, aren't they? On the cheek. Yes. I mean, just feel them. Yeah, I know, Ken. I know mm. they're soft. Right. It's not like one up, muck about. Um, oh, sorry. Right, Ken. <coughs> Here's a dirty glass. Mm. If you'd like to it's clean. Uh, get your mop. John, um, it's clean, this one. Ken. Mm. They don't know that, do they? What do you mean? Eh? They can't see. No. You're just ruining this. But, John. <coughs> putting obstacle after obstacle in my way. Look. I'm not going to clean a clean glass, am I? Look, hey. does it matter? Yes, it does. It's silly, this item. Give anyway. it to you. It's not very believable. Give us that mop here, Ken. No. Oh, you're making a lot of noise, you lads. Sorry, Sorry Mary. Mary. Are you stopping for your tea, Ken? Oh, um, oh. I don't know. I've, I've not been invited. No. Oh, well, do you want to stop? You know. Mm. Mm. Nothing what? special. It's just um, shepherd's pie. Oh. Oh. And, uh, you know, uh, chips, a bit of salad. Mm. Oh, well, that sounds lovely. Mm. Mm, I'd right. love to stop. Right. If I'm invited. Well. Yes. Yes, yes of course right. you are, Ken, you mm. know. <clears throat> as long as you've not um, made other arrangements. No, no. You know, no, I'd no. hate to think there was somebody waiting for you now with a nice hot meal. Mm. Yeah, it'd be terrible for them, wouldn't it? And you, you don't turn up. Yes. Well, no, it's, it's sad, aren't it, mm. John? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll well, go out for a pie. Mm. You know, pie and chips, something like that. Mm. Yeah. John, can you get to Shepherd's Pie from Freezer? Yes, please? I can, love. And Ken, can I have my gloves back? Oh, yes, of course you can. Yeah, yeah Ken's still got the uh, rubber gloves on. <laughs> How to be happy in a sad, sad world. It's incredibly easy. And to tell you will please me. Will it, Ken? Go on, tell us then. Go for a stroll with your arm round a lassie. Have a quick snack in the boat in Lake Cafe. How to be happy in a sad, sad world. Off you go, Mary. How to be happy in a sad, sad world. It's deceptively simple. Like popping a pimple. Visit a friend in a home or a hospice Go to a zoo and say boo to the ostrich How to be happy in a sad, sad world You should be thankful for your lot The friends and the neighbours you have got but what if you live in Sarajevo, John? Fortunately, can we do not? Go caravan in the two it or different. Order a pizza and have it delivered. How to be happy in the sad, sad world. How to be happy in the sad, sad world. How to be happy in the sad, sad world. How to be happy in the sad. Is to know well, that it's really not a sad, sad world. It's not a it? No, it's not. It's a nice world. Oh, yes. Mm. It is, yes. For, for most people. Mm. 